So I just got back from my busy, busy, busy job. Do you have one of those too? And coming up is a very important holiday. It is National Lazy Day. I have a couple weeks to train. This is very difficult to do when you live with an Energizer Bunny. You guys have met Wisconsin. I'm gonna help you with the three tips to prepare for National Lazy Day. Sound good? Great. Let's do it. Now I gotta tell you, Wisconsin hates this hat. I, however, find this the perfect hat for National Lazy Day. So now that we have ourselves attired, let's kick back and talk about the ways to prepare yourself for National Lazy Day. So the first thing to do is remember that chores do not need to be done every day. They don't. The cat litter, the dishes, the laundry, mowing the lawn, no one will die if you wait a day to do those things. So when you go to kickback, if you're looking around and you're thinking, shoot, I should have vacuumed the boat. This boat is filthy. Just stop. And here's where we come to point number two. Point number two is, before you go out, go into your bedroom, open your dresser drawer, take your guilt meter and put it in there and shut the door drawer firmly. Just shut it. That's right. There is no guilt on National Lazy Day. Just let ourselves be peaceful, quiet, and lazy. So for number three, you need to tell anyone who doesn't have and appreciate some sloth-like qualities that you're going out of town. You're going someplace where there is no cell signal, you can't be texted or called, you can't check your email. So if you live in Michigan, you can say you're going to the Upper Peninsula where the signal up there, the, the internet signal disappears every couple minutes. Wisconsin, you're just gonna have to do without me for one day. I love you dearly, you know I do. But for one day, you may have to like go away for a few hours. And then it's simple. <laughs> Are you still here? Go. Be gone. It's National Lazy Day. Go, go find your happy place. <laughs> 